Babes, Jess here and welcome to the Mega Trophy Cupcakes Holiday Taste Test. What Trophy Cupcakes is really known for are creating desserts that are both really delicious and nostalgic and works of art. They're decked out in caramel, chocolate, sprinkles, edible glitter, candy canes. You imagine it as a kid, it would have ended up on a Trophy Cupcakes cupcake. And this is a case where I actually don't know what we're getting because I reached out to Trophy Cupcakes and they were like, oh, you want cupcakes? We will give you cupcakes. So thank you again to Trophy for being up for giving me so many cupcakes. So with that, let's cupcake. This is the vanilla vanilla and I love that she's taking a cupcake that most of us think of as the blandest, the most boring, and it's this lovely little work of art. I mean, look at these ruffles of frosting, it's gorgeous. And the little sprinkles on top are so cute. I love it. I haven't had the vanilla vanilla in a long time though. I usually go for other flavors we'll see coming up. Cheers. Era number one, I should've brought a fork. It is on the sweet side, but it's like a nostalgic homey vanilla sweetness. The cake itself is clean and classic. It's a very straight vanilla flavor. No frills, just going for the classics, and a really nice heft to it, so it can hold its own against all that frosting. It does remind me of pound cake in that there's kind of an almond butteriness at the end, but I think that's just the butter. Next, we have a vanilla chocolate. Still going for the classics, but now we have chocolate buttercream, which is way more up my alley. And still, like, look at these ruffles. How pretty is this? I would have loved this as a kid. So it's the same cake, so no surprises. It's buttery, it's got a nice amount of heft, it's nice little dense cupcake, not in a bad way, just, like, just dense enough to really support the frosting. The frosting is where it's at. So this is not like your sweet, generic chocolate frosting. I'm pretty sure they're using Valrona, and it has depth. Like, it's a really nice, deep cocoa fudgy note, a little bit of crunch from the sprinkles. It's almost like eating a chocolate mousse rather than a frosting, and I am here for this. Next, chocolate vanilla. Now we've got the chocolate cake, but the same vanilla buttercream. I love the little addition of chocolate sprinkle on top, going a touch fancy. Cheers. <laughs> no polite way to eat a cupcake on film. All right, the buttercream, we, we tried, we know it's there. The chocolate cake is a little bit softer, a little bit spongier than the vanilla cake, and a little bit moister in that lovely way that good cakes can be. And a good bit of cocoa flavor. Like, it, it holds up against the vanilla buttercream, which is intense. So you have a nice amount of cocoa flavor, that lovely softness to the cake itself. I'm definitely team chocolate cake for a trophy. So this is Yum Betty. I remember when this came out, she had this variation on it that was like this tall and had sticks of candy sticking out. And I like this one better. It's far more approachable. And also just still really cute. I mean, look at this. It's got vanilla buttercream and vanilla cake with sprinkles, which is just the best. It's basically like everything you wanted in a birthday cake, but in a cupcake down to the freaking circus animal on top. My only request would have been a chocolate chocolate version of this because I just prefer chocolate, but as an adorable gift of a cupcake, I'm not complaining. And I mean, just look at this fun funfetti action. How fun is this? Cheers. This is the same flavor base as the vanilla vanilla with added crunch factor because there's sprinkles everywhere and that is a fun time. But you'd better like vanilla because that's what you're getting. Vanilla buttercream, vanilla cake, crunchy sprinkles, and some little chocolate and gum treats on top by the look of things. So a bit of everything but a lot of vanilla. But if you or your gift recipient doesn't like vanilla, I would get a different cupcake because with all the stuff on top, the sweetness does get a bit intensified if crunchy. And so I'd pick something else because there's plenty of intense cupcakes going on here. Next up is the salted caramel, which has chocolate cake, caramel buttercream, caramel, and sea salt on top for a little bit of extra extravagance in your cupcake day. And now you can actually see how close together they are because it's got all the sprinkles from the next cupcake on it. They are tightly packed in there. Remove cupcakes carefully. I do like just how much caramel is on here and how much salt because I could see skimping on the salt here because it's a cupcake. Cheers. So the first thing that hits me is the difference in the buttercream. It's not as mousse and fluffy-like. It's a little bit denser, a little bit more like what I think of buttercream. It's still quite smooth and with a very gentle caramel note because what you're really tasting is the salt and caramel on top and kind of the cocoa-ness of the cake itself brings it all together. This is one that's better than some of its parts because I can find the salt a little too much salt if you eat it on its own, but if you have it everything together, it's just the right pinch of salt. Next, we have Samoa's, which was my favorite cookie when I was a Girl Scout. Yeah, that was a time. So this time we've still got chocolate cake, we've got coconut buttercream, a ton of coconut, and caramel and chocolate sauce, cause let's go for the gold here. I'm impressed at how much coconut they managed to get to stay on here. Like, there's not a lot in the box. It's actually just all in the cupcake, which means they must have a really solid rolling technique to get this, this pretty. 
everything in this cupcake is about the coconut. Well, the coconut buttercream is surprisingly mellow. The real star of the show is this toasted coconut, which is chewy with just enough chew to not overpower, but still be a very dominant flavor in all of this. Like you better like coconut. And then the base notes of it are the caramel and chocolate from the cake and the syrups. The cake is kind of just holding it all together, making it less sweet. As the buttercream is on the sweet side, so otherwise it would be too sweet for me, but as it is, you get a nice balance of flavors. Next, we're going for the triple chocolate. So this is chocolate buttercream, chocolate cake, chocolate sprinkles. The one challenge with this is that the sprinkles are going everywhere. Like, they're all over the box, they're all over me. I I'm not complaining, just be ready for sprinkles. Cheers. So it's the same action as the chocolate chocolate with extra sprinkles, oh my goodness. But because of how they're putting on the frosting, which is more like a, a layer than piped on, it does come off somewhat more mousse-like. So you have this intensity from the softness of the cake to the mousse-like quality of the buttercream and then to the soft crunch from the sprinkles. It's just chocolate, bring your milk, you'll need it. Next we have the red velvet, probably my favorite of the classic lineup because I am such a geek for cream cheese frosting. If you're new to red velvet, it's a chocolate or chocolate buttermilk cake with cream cheese frosting on top, and it's adorable. I mean, look at that little heart. It's so cute. I do wonder how they're getting the color, though. There's a few ways nowadays, but this is a deeply intense red. Well, cheers. The start of the show here is this cream cheese frosting. It is soft, it is creamy, it has a little bit of a tang. It is awesome. I did find this cake itself to be a little on dry side, but, you know, ovens are ovens. It happens. I'm slightly mellower cocoa flavor on the cupcake. It does mean that this cream cheese frosting really shines through and I just want more cream cheese frosting now. So this is the chocolate chip cookie dough which is super exciting for those of us who are scared to eat raw cookie dough because the cookie dough on top is egg free. Also this is just studded with chocolate chips. I mean look at how many are in here. It's in the cupcake, it's in the cookie dough, we've even got extra teeny weeny sprinkle style ones on top. So as I was unwrapping this my immediate thought was is this a new species of Pacific Northwest cupcake mushroom? I, I, I have been in forestry for too long. Cheers. So for me, this is one where I'd like to see more brown sugar. It's a very sweet cupcake because you have vanilla frosting and the vanilla cupcake on the bottom. It has the chocolate coming through mainly as a crunch and cocoa-y note in the background. Not super intense because you've got so much sweetness going on. That being said, I feel like this would have been so awesome when I was 10 because to be able to eat just raw cookie dough like this is a joy. So maybe if they had this on a chocolate cupcake, I'd probably be eating it constantly. I'm just not a huge vanilla vanilla person. Also might be more that I've had nine cupcakes in the last half hour and maybe my palate's dying. That too. Last, not least, we have the last three and they're all holiday themed and they're cute. So first we have the holiday yum fatty, which is the same thing as the yum fatty, only holiday themed. I do wish this came in blue and silver. I'd love to see this side by side with a Hanukkah themed one. That would be just so cute. But as it is, we've got candy canes, we've got a holiday pretzel, we've got gumdrop going on over here. Like, yes, we, we gumdrop. And there's even red and green Christmas themed funfetti in here. How fun is this? Cheers. It's super cute, it's super sweet, it's got vanilla, it's got little crunchy bits everywhere from all those sprinkles. It is very joyous, but it is very vanilla sugar sweet. Next we have the gingerbread orange, and as soon as I picked it up, I could smell the gingerbread. There's a lovely, just gingery brown sugar scent in the air now, and, and it makes me really happy. And this one is a gingerbread cake with orange zest, cream cheese frosting on top, and I love that every layer has something special going on. We have the little gingerbread sugar ornament here, we have the red and green sprinkles, and then we have a sugar crusting on the molasses cake. So pretty! Cheers! Holy crud! This cake takes no prisoners. It is bold. There's sharp hits of spices in a really lovely way. Like, I'm just getting pops them as they come through. So at one point the ginger came through, and then molasses, and the cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg in the background maybe, but pops of spice. But also not too overpowering, and it means that you're not necessarily getting the cream cheese intensity you might want, but it's really fun. You just experience all the flavor. Like, you don't think of cupcake as being this intense, yet this little one, it's hiding a spicy grit. I feel like I'd want to like share this with someone who's not ready for it so I can watch them go, oh my gosh, it's like eating a holiday in a cupcake. Also, the cake itself is really wonderfully moist. I would, I'm in for this. This needs to be just more a fall seasonal cake because I will get it. I did try the cream cheese itself. It is super soft. Like this is almost pudding like in its soft custardy texture. 
I planned the order of these around which one I thought was more intense, and I was likely wrong based on this. The final cupcake, the piece de resistance, is the chocolate candy cane, which is chocolate cake, peppermint buttercream, candy cane dust, and a candy cane on top. Yeah, you can smell the peppermint oil. Cheers. As soon as I started biting down, didn't even finish the bite, I got crisp peppermint, but not super intense. This is not an Andy's mint, it's just a brisk breeze of peppermint over a cocoa noted cupcake, but it's definitely candy cane peppermint. Like if you're looking for herbal mint, this is not the cupcake for you. It is old school nostalgic peppermint and it's kind of a joy. That's the one I would split though. Actually, I'd split honestly all of these cupcakes. I'm happy with a couple bites usually. For me, a tasting flight would be great if they had a couple chunks of cupcakes and maybe like warm milk just to have some kind of a palate cleanser because there's a lot of flavor going on. Ooh, favorites. So for the holiday, I really loved the gingerbread. I just wasn't expecting that much spiciness and that they went so in with that bold, deep spice note. Yeah, good stuff. My favorites from the regular set would be the red velvet and the salted caramel. Those have been my favorites pretty much forever and they don't change very often. I'm just a huge fan of salt and cream cheese frosting. Nothing new there. So those are my thoughts and a little bit of a preview of the Trophy Cupcakes lineup, the holiday and regular editions. I hope you get to try some out. As a heads up, the limited edition holiday edition are limited edition, as in some are running their course this week. So if you want to try a particular one, check on their website to make sure it's even available. As always, it was super great hanging out with you. If you'd like more holiday inspiration, maybe some advent calendars, have I got the playlist for you. And with that, I will catch you next video. Later!